Hey guys, welcome back. Tonight I thought I'd give you a quick look at my uh, new ADS-B setup using the Comet antenna. Hey guys, welcome back. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Eric. I recently got a Comet Discone style antenna marketed for scanners. Uh, I put it up in my attic. I'll, uh, if I have it, I'll throw a picture of it here in the video. So this antenna is good for a pretty wide swath of frequencies and I thought I'd give it a try for my ADS-B setup. So what I have here on the screen is a ADS-B scope plotting out uh, aircraft traffic in my, my area. So I thought I'd take you through the setup. I'm using a Noelec R820T software defined radio dongle. These things are, uh, well not the Noelec one, but you can buy equivalent on eBay for just over $10. So uh, what we're running running ADS-B sharp this is serving the data up to the ADS-B scope so I have uh, this checked here uh, RF gain is maxed out but it's run by the tuner right now and I put my frequency correction in which you can get from SDR sharp by tuning to a known uh, broadcast frequency and altering the parts per million until the broadcast frequency in SDR sharp matches what the real world frequency is. That's about it. There's no more configuration to this. It's just that easy. Uh, in ADSB scope, I really love this program. I'm pretty happy with it. Under other network network setup. This is the only setup to the program and this may actually be pre-configured from factory, but uh, it's just this easy. You use these numbers, local IP address, and it will be getting the data from ADS-B Sharp. These are the aircraft I'm currently plotting. What I'm finding with this Comet antenna, and keep in mind this is inside my attic, I'm getting 150 to 200 kilometer range pretty consistent depending on direction. Uh, I have, there's quite a few buildings, I'm in a town, so there's some obstructions. But uh, for the most part, this is uh, my location here and these are the aircraft. So with ADS-B scope, you just click on the aircraft and you can get the details on it. Uh, plenty of traffic going on here at the moment in my local area. We've got uh, 737s mainly. United flights, all kinds of good stuff. Uh, what you'll also see is a whole bunch of aircraft noted but don't have Latin long and aren't part, uh, not, uh, displayed on the screen. So if we scroll down we can see there's quite a few going on. Those are aircraft not reporting to ADSB currently. It is not mandatory yet in my neck of the woods. So a lot of the smaller aircraft like the CRJs or like uh, this Embraer here or this Lear right here uh, or this CRJ, they don't have it. But they do report altitude, which is pretty cool, and registration and uh, the ICAO. So. Uh, pretty cool. If you want to see the raw data being decoded, I forget what button it is. It's one of these buttons up here that uh, I thought it used to be able to hover over it. It would tell me. Anyway, uh, one of those buttons up there, and you get this window so that you can see the live data coming through, which is pretty handy for troubleshooting and just kind of neat to see. So. Uh, few options in the program but you can see I'm getting data quality of about 90% right now at 678 frames a minute. That's pretty good. Um, it's one heck of a lot better than I was seeing with any of my other antenna setups. This common antenna is definitely not suited for ADS-B. I still want to build a collinear antenna and give it a go. But in all honesty, I'm not in any big rush to do that now. This is working out pretty well. So 
Uh, should be zoomed in a fair bit more here because in all honesty we're probably not going to get, this would be a better zoom level, around the 200 kilometer range because I, I don't, really don't think we're going to get much beyond that. You can see this one here is starting to break up in this area because there's some tall buildings in this direction and he'll come back into view shortly thereafter. But that's it. That is my ADS-B scope plotting uh, real-time air traffic control with a $10 USB dongle uh, and a scanner antenna mounted in my attic. But you could reproduce this much better with a DIY homebrew antenna. So I'm hoping this helps someone out. Uh, pretty cool. You can uh, plot this anywhere. It's real fun when you're on the road plotting this uh, actually at the air airport or in some cases you can plot it when you're inside the aircraft so anyway i uh, hope you enjoyed this thanks for watching and uh, glad you could be here <laughs>